Colin Brown was combat ready and poised for duty in Europe. He and other troops were diverted to another assignment, jumping over the blazing forests of the American Northwest, searching for Japanese balloon bombs, which contained biological agents that could destroy woodlands and crops. This ceremony is about one of our brothers. Yeah. One of our brothers who, you know, there's a saying, gone but not forgotten, recognized but not unknown. Members of the Triple Nichols gathered at the Mount Calvary Cemetery in Brooklyn to honor Private First Class Malvin Brown. He was a member of the 555th Parachute Infantry Battalion called the Triple Nichols, the first military smoke jumpers and airborne fighters. During World War II, we would jump into forest fires uh, and help extinguish them that uh, started from Japan sending over uh, paper balloons to cause havoc in our forest. Brown is listed as the first smoke jumper to perish in a fire. He was fighting a fire in August of 1945 when he fell from a tree in Oregon. For years, it was not known where he was buried. Recent search efforts brought researchers to this cemetery, and today he was honored with a memorial. This battalion was all African American. The Afro American soldiers who decided to uh, defend their country during World War II, and this was one of the ways that uh, they decided to uh, do it. Brown's family members traveled from Philadelphia to learn history they never knew. We're very proud to tell everyone we come in contact about it. Something to be very, very proud of. These men have done a wonderful job. It's been wonderful. It's a miracle and a blessing. So much of this is we're just learning ourselves. And historians say another reason the unit was reassigned is major commanders in Europe were leery of having highly trained black paratroopers coming into contact with racist elements. The group is holding a reunion in Washington, D.C. this weekend. Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.